Hello everyone, welcome to Mr. Tech Gym again. And today we are going to discuss about the week 5 of operating systems and you becoming a power user. Okay, so in this week we will talk about the process management of the life of process. So basically the first quiz of life of process. These are basically very easy questions, not that much hard. So Windows process can operate independently of their parents. This is true. Yes, Windows operation can operate independently. So we are going to our next question, uh, which is of the managing process. Okay, so we have two questions in this uh, quiz. So the first quiz is which of the following tools can help you gather information about the process running on a Windows operating system? This is the task manager, the task list, utility command prompt, and great process command led from the partial command prompt. Basically, all of them. And the second, the restart process using the ex process explorer utility. What will be the new parent in this process? This is the process explorer. So we have done two quizzes of the two topics. Now we are going to, to the quiz of process utilization. Obviously there are five questions. So the first question is which of the following PowerShell commands will tell you tell you which process on our system is using most CPU users. So we need to get process and then shorts uh, CPU descending and select the first priority property ID and process name CPU. If you have a slow computer, what are the possible culprits that could be causing the high CPU uses, the lots of IO activity and high RAM uses, and also too many processes running? So basically all of the options. To in the Linux machine, what command can you use to safely you safely terminate a process with a PID of 342? Kill 342. Okay, so just kill command. In the Linux, what command can absolutely kill a process? This is the kill kill 342. And in the Linux machine, what command can you use to suspend a process? This is actually kill TSTP 342. Okay, so we have done our process utilization quiz. So now we are going to our graded assignment tool. So which is basically maintaining efficient process utilization on your computer windows. So for this, we need to open our global quick lab lab for this assignment. So we need to start the assignment and we need to access our remote desktop connection. So for this, we need to search for remote desktop connection and also copy the IP address and press enter and the student ID and password. Okay, so in the meantime, we can check out our, we are accessing the virtual machine. Now we need to terminate a specific process. So for this, we need to turn on the PowerShell. So oh, obviously, yes. So we need to turn on the PowerShell with an administrative mode. And in this PowerShell, we will get to this command. And after getting all this command, our assignment will be done. Okay, so you need to get to the command. Okay, so first of all, we need to give the totally not malicious command. And then you will find the process ID. Okay, so what is the process ID? So the process ID will be PID and the number is given there. Okay, so for this we need to go to our remote desktop connection. So this is basically installed. Okay, so we will go to our PowerShell. Okay, in the meantime the server manager will pop up but that's not important matter. We do not need the server manager so that's why just cross it down. Okay, so here is the PowerShell. Run as administrator. Obviously, yes. Okay, so we will uh, give our first command. So, which is not malicious actually. Totally not malicious. So, you can see there is a, a PID is shown 3692. Okay, so just we need to go to the process ID. And now, what we need to do in PID, we just Right, three, six, nine, two. Okay, so that's done. Now we need another, uh, another process which is no longer running. So check this out. Okay, so that's not malicious anymore. Okay, so check your progress. That's done. Now we are going to our second terminating multiple processes. Okay, so there may be multiple processes. We need to terminate all of them. Okay, so there is two ID. So for this, what we need to do? First of all, we should write the first ID which is 1336 is terminated and then again we should write the same command with the ID 2380 enter so this process is also terminated now we can check whether our malicious services are active or not okay so basically <laughs> there is nothing so that's done Check your progress of the result. Okay, so that's done. And your lab. Okay. Oh, you can check your score. Your score will be updated, right? 20 by 20. Okay. So, okay. Surely you can 
pen drive and don't forget to submit the live stream. Okay, so that's it. We are going, you should press the next button. If you don't press the next button, your school will not be updated and please remind it. Okay, so we are going for our Linux assignment and for this, you know very well, we need to start the lab and there will be a TPK file and we also need to search for the cookie and run his administration administrator okay so uh, our ppk file is already downloaded we add the raid ip address ssh authentication browse where is the ppk file open open and in this case yes to all okay so we are going to use the linux tool so we already accessed uh, terminating the specific process so for this we need to may we need to enter the process or code oh -ho. We made a mistake so basically we need to find out the process which is malicious so first of all enter the malicious code and then you will get this id there's two malicious uh software found one is 1232 and another is 1239 okay so we will now kill that process so in process id you will write just 1232 it's killed okay so we already killed 1232 and now we will also kill 1239 this is also killed okay so we already killed both of them now check whether they are alive or not okay so there is nothing so that's it we already did now we need to term terminate multiple processes at the same time right okay result so there is 12, 33, 12, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Okay, so so many of them. Okay, so let's start with the sudo kill function. Okay. Oh, that's really time consuming. So 12, 3, 3. And again, sudo kill 12, 3, 4. And then again, sudo kill 3, 5. 12, 36. We already killed 7 and the last one 1238 so Okay, we already done all of them So now check the process whether there is there any alive or not Okay, so there is nobody left That's it, you stop result process And your score is 20 by 20 In the lab, okay And then don't forget to uh, submit the star And then after going to the course Then press the next button and that's all for week 5 and hope to see you in week 6 which is the most wanted or most hot uh, of this operating system and as well as the Google IT support. Until then thank you and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.